Hey, what is up there guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of The Evolve. How you guys doing on today? Man, I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright. Please guys, if you are new to the channel, please take some time to go ahead, subscribe, and like if you like the content here. We always have some good fun, good fun content we're bringing back to you. But you guys know what we're talking about on today. You see, Nick Cannon, he had decided to release yet another another diss track another diss track now this particular one was a little bit different in to say because this particular diss track he stated it was cancelled where he cancelled the invitation that's what it was meant to say that M Eminem your invitation has been cancelled it's kind of weird because Nick Cannon kind of doesn't know what he wants to do first he released a invitation and then he released praying for him and then after praying for him he goes on Twitter and say that hey I've won and it's over and then he re-brings it back up with yet another diss track he doesn't know when to stop he is really trying to do all that he can to get Eminem on season 15 when in reality the invitation that you assuming that you have been sending Eminem is not even going to the mailbox he's not even opening up the mail my dude he hasn't got the invitation but yet uh, Nick Cannon he persists he still now I don't think that we're going it's to get yet mail. another diss track but i can say if he it, right. and nick cannon like can I put said, out bro, a whole album of diss tracks and eminem's two tweets will still be enough <laughs> to, to, to destroy it all but we're not talking about that on today because in this newly released diss track nick cannon he decides to go hard he decides to go really really hard let's take let's take a moment to pause Okay, so, in this diss track, Nick Cannon, he stated a few things. He decided to go a different route because Eminem wasn't answering to the pray for him and the other invitation as this is all part of, uh, all part of Eminem's plan. You know, silence can be the best killer because sometimes the more that you talk, the dumber and le less intelligent, you know, people can see that you are. But, but that aside, in this diss track, Nick Cannon, he mentioned that Eminem was the KKK of our generation. See, this diss track, Nick Cannon really wanted to go racial. He really wanted to bring forth a hate and a divide. He wanted to try to make not just Eminem angry, but he wanted to make the general public angry enough so that Eminem was forced to respond. So he had stated that Eminem is the KKK of our generation. Now I must say that if Eminem is the KKK of our generation, then he, well, he's doing it all wrong. He, he's doing it all wrong. I mean, take a look at some of his friends and his associates. You know, people like D12 and Royce the 59 His best friend Proof. Even Slaughterhouse. Take Rihanna and even Beyonce said in an interview that she would love to work with um, Eminem and enjoyed him. I mean tons of people Eminem is not that person that can say that um well I have a bad black friend no Eminem is the person that can say well my friends are black <laughs> uh, so but 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 that's why I said if Eminem is really the KKK of our generation he do he's doing it backwards he he's doing it all wrong but that aside now some may say oh because he worked with them their friends well you don't work with enemies but let's move on because this allegation we knew wasn't true that we knew that this is just a form of hate to try to force Eminem to respond but there was something that Nick 
decided to say in this one. The whole context of this last diss track was Eminem's past, his past, and when he was about 16 or 17 years old, he made a track where he talked about black women. He said that white women are better, and basically black women, you don't want to uh, mess with them. You know, they're all types of, you know, bees or whatnot. Uh, but Eminem, now he did say that. Nick Cannon was right. And, you know, so he made this the course of his diss track and the foundation of his song. He pounded on this. Now, but what Nick Cannon failed to do is to put any context behind why Eminem said and did what he did back then. One <clears throat> one part of it was that he was 16 or 17 years old. But let's go back to that song. Let's play a little bit of exactly what Eminem said. So yeah, he did say this, and it may not sound like our Eminem today because, like I said, he was still a teenager. Now, what's going on here? In this track, Eminem, he was still in high school, and he, like I've said, it was very a hormonal guy. You are in high school. But anyway, he found this black girl that he liked, and he had stated in a future song um, that she was beautiful, and she was hot, and she was the best with regards to personality and the way that she looked and everything and you know they hooked up and you know they, they well basically they hooked up and um he enjoyed her rather it was because of love or lust it didn't really matter but at the end of the day you know he further stated that she ends up dumping him you know she ends up dumping him and she goes to a black guy uh, you know, when you're young, you could think a lot of different things is going through your head with regards to being in a relationship and then someone leaving you for another black guy. A lot of things are going through your head. Oh, it's just because he's black or you don't want to be with a white. I mean, it brings forth a sense of anger. And I got to say, love is one of the most powerful weapons in our time today. It will have you say some things and do some things that you wouldn't normally say or do on a normal basis. So, yeah, I mean, had just got dumped in in this and thus this song was created when he was 16 17 years old after being dumped now some may say that now some may say that now yes it, there's now yes slurs and slander and racial stuff like this there is no justification anger is not a justification I agree but one thing that we must note that once again, we must put behind the context and that was he was in a broken relationship and he was 16. He was a, <clears throat> a teenager at this point. He has since apologized and denounced this track and apologized for it. And he stated that, you know, that it was the heat of the moment. Um, now, no one wants to be judged on their past, but they want to be judged by, you know, the content of what they're doing today. But, you know, one thing that was not mentioned and one thing that I think everyone failed to realize is that Eminem, he had said these things because he couldn't be with a black person. He couldn't be with a black girl. We failed to mention when when Nick is doing his diss track and calling Eminem the KKK of our generation. But take a look at the very context of what you're talking about. You're slandering him because he was mad because a black girl had dumped him. Because he had wanted to be with a black person. Once again, he is really doing this whole KKK thing all wrong. Even at a very young age, that's all he hanged around with and had a desire to be with. I mean... You with Mariah Carey there, Nick Cannon. I mean, I, it's evident that M is more blacker than you. But 
that's full on because Nick Cannon he didn't just have um he didn't just have himself in this but then Bizzino you see Bizzino he tried this route he tried the racial slurs he tried to cancel Eminem because of this clip and the only thing that got cancelled was Bizzino's rap career Bizzino's source magazine the source awards everything got cancelled because of you know petty um, nonchalant stuff from our past and he tried to do this route and it's funny because Bizzino, just yesterday, he put up another tweet in which I replied to. Now, in this tweet, he talked about, I'll put, put it up on the screen right here and you guys can read it. But basically, the paraphrase, he is saying that, man, if Tupac was here, he wouldn't settle for this stuff that Eminem is doing. Because Tupac, he, he, he knows that we don't disrespect our black women. He don't settle for that crap that Eminem is doing. Once again, he was 16, Bizzino. And the thing is with Bizzino is that I made a reply, as you can see in my reply here. Um, wait, 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 Bizzino. You're trying to talk. <clears throat> you're trying to talk about Eminem's past and disrespect to women when he was 16, when you have no excuse. You are a grown man and uh, you got arrested by a woman and you start spurring out s racial slurs and calling her all types of stuff and this is an officer and you are old enough to know better so you have no justification and you should not be talking at this point okay if 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 Bizzino wants to talk about anything let's talk about how you how you tore down and destroyed the very the very sacredness of the source magazine i admit um having five mics on the source it was a it was a career accomplishment for every artist and any artist but you destroyed the very morals and ethical legitimacy of that so until you start talking about that and apologizing for that, then we're going to need you to shut up. Moving on to Nick. Good old Saint Nick. Yeah, Saint Nick. Wait, Saint Nick wants to judge people on their past. I mean, no one wants to be judged on their past. I mean, Nick, Nick, Nickel, Nicky, don't you remember if we are bringing up the past, didn't... Oh, 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 but wait, 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 and now that I think about it, since Nick Cannon wants to bring up people's past against them, I mean, no one wants to be judged by the past, right, Nick? Because, I mean, think about it. You remember that you were on America's um, Got Talent, and they end up getting a new host and firing you, or you actually got out before they could fire you, but they had threatened, the executives had threatened to fire you because you tried to do the same tactic against them, using race and whatnot, and you had stated that NBC mean niggas better come. Um, suggesting that NBC uh, just don't got enough black people and they need black people because this and you stated that it's a very racial um, a very racial racial production they got going on there and they threatened to fire you now you did say that that was a joke but once again you have a history of trying to use race and racism and bigotry to divide you know blacks and whites but that was in the past right Nick you don't want that brung up because you changed and you moved on exactly because we don't want to bring up the very your very brother who was arrested you know right there on your show because of assault and robbery and different things like that yeah your brother but I hate to bring that up because that's in the past right Nick and I'm sure he's changed but once again, I say that to say this, no one wants to be judged by their past. And that's the great thing about life and grace and forgiveness and change and just our humans in general. We have all said things in the heat of the moment and at the precipice. But 
it's not about what we've done in our past. It's about the changes and the inspiration and the moments that we make today. Now, yes, your moment and the mark that you're leaving right now is a mark and a pattern and a fingerprint of race and divide and hate. Why Eminem? Wait a second. You hear that? It's silence. Yeah. You know what? Because sometimes in silence, you can seem to be the most intelligent. Because once again, and once you start speaking, people will know just how big of a clown you are. Maybe it's time to stop talking. Once again there, guys, I thank you guys for watching. As always, KIP, keep it positive. It's going to be all right.